Fresh storms start that to are fitness moving through. is sponsored by Intermountain Health. Absolutely, Debbie. We definitely want to get out and do some bowling. So we've got Jeffrey Beck here, Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute. That's who he's with. And we are working on bowling this morning and just gearing up for our good bowling game. And Jeffrey, always looking the part. I try to. You do. Holly. I know. It looks so good. This is also my uh, church attire. So. Okay, it doubles as church attire and bowling attire. Yes, it's probably it why get... I still go to the singles <laughs> ward. So. I love it when you can get two uses out of one outfit. That's right. Okay, so what do we do? How are we going to so, get ready? What we're going to do is some strengthening exercises okay. to help improve your bowling game. Because being a little more mm -hmm. strong allows you to throw a heavier ball yeah, down the you want to get a strike. Yes, so we're going to start by doing an exercise called the sumo squat. Okay. So you're going to hold a weight, since I have this bowling ball conveniently, mm -hmm. we're going to uh, hold the weight about chest okay. level, put our feet wider than hip width apart, you're going to squat down until your thighs are about parallel to the floor and mm -hmm. back up, keeping your back nice and straight, just like this, really okay. strengthens those leg muscles which is also very important when bowling. Yes, absolutely. And you start feeling the burn. Oh yeah, yeah, in the I'm thighs. really feeling it. And the glutes, the hamstrings, everywhere. Everywhere. Three sets of about 10 reps of okay. that. Okay. And then we're gonna go into an exercise that's called the isolated weighted crunch. Oh, so wow. I'm gonna so lay on the lay ground. lay down for this one. Yes. So you're gonna hold a weight above you with one hand. Like a bowling ball or a weight, or, whatever. Yeah, medicine okay. ball or a dumbbell. You're gonna crunch up and down, wow. just bend the leg that you're working mm -hmm. on. Which side? This isolates each side of the abdominals. Okay. Now when you do that, you're just gonna, well, switch it. Ugh. Oh my gosh, that's a tough trade off there. <laughs> yeah, that was a little awkward. But. <laughs> you did it well, you did it well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so you're gonna do about three sets of 12 reps of that. Okay. And uh, next we're going to do an exercise to strengthen the rotator cuffs. Okay. So, take a pair of dumbbells, hold them about a 90 degree angle. And go forward. Go forward okay. like this so your forearms are parallel to the floor and then back to starting position. Just like this. You can do about 10 to 12 reps of this. Okay.